Hello everybody. Here is a quick tutorial on how to upload photos of your work to Canvas. These methods will work whether you're uploading images for an art class or papers or other objects for any of your other courses. So I've created um, a, an, a fake assignment in Canvas called Uploading Photos of Your Work to Canvas just to use as a demonstration. So when you're ready to submit, you would click the Submit Assignment button, and you will see that you have a couple of choices. One is to do a file upload, and the other is to use the Google Drive. And you can use Google Drive if your teacher has left that link open to you. Um, in many cases, I think they're probably gonna go with a file upload. So on the right-hand side of my screen, I have an untitled folder open, which is where the four pictures I'm gonna work with today are just being stored temporarily. So the first thing you have to do is choose your file. So you click on choose file and it's going to open up a window that gives you a choice to choose where your images are stored. So for me right now, it is in this untitled folder, but um, it also could be in my downloads because I airdropped it to myself just a few minutes ago from my phone. Um, it all depends on what you have, what kind of device you're working on and where you've stored your images. We have found in my digital photo class that sometimes it's easiest to move the images to the desktop from something like a Google Drive. So here I'm gonna double click to open the folder. And the first image I'm gonna upload is this one, which is a what not to do when taking a picture of your work. So I've clicked on the image, I'm clicking open, and you can now see that the file extension is right there. So that image, if I go back and open it up for you to see, is what not to do when you're photographing work. You want to make sure that it's not bent, it's not folded, it's not shaded, you're not seeing other things in the scene. The best way to handle it is to take a picture with it flat on the floor or on a desktop. Um, it is notoriously difficult to photograph without glare. So we put things either in bright light, but not direct sunlight. And we try to make sure there's nothing casting shadows on it. So this is an image that um, is square to the edge of the picture frame, meaning the outside edges are parallel. And I've opened it up in preview on my Mac here. And now what I'm gonna do is just select the image. I may end up cutting a little bit of it off and that's okay. And then I'm going to crop it. So all I'm left with is the actual image. You can see it's a little lighter down here, a little darker over there. That's okay for your, your basic assignment for passing things in. So that's gonna go back into the folder and save. So I wanna add another file. I can click here. If your teacher has not limited them, you can keep uploading images. So you're gonna click choose file, click on the image and open. And I have another image here of what not to do. Oh, somebody got in the way. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Um, if you want, you can upload them without editing them with a little bit of space around them, especially if you're just showing a worksheet to a teacher or something like that. Um, I just wanted to show you that last step of cropping. And once you're done, all you do is click Submit Assignment. And then when your teacher opens it up in the grading module, they'll actually see the work and then they'll be able to download the images if they want to use them for, for later work. And that's all there is to it. 